Hello. It's a Wednesday evening. I've had a, yeah, I suppose a busy day. If you hear squeaking, it's those. Because there's a bit of a wind tonight. Anyway. You might have noticed that the uh, bike stand is not here. Nope, because it's been put away in the closet. The bike is over there. I'm not going to give too much away because I've still got footage to get off that camera before I start part four. Yeah, there's going to be four parts. I think in total there's going to be at least five parts. Um, but uh, I managed to get three onto that camera before the um, tape ran out. And uh, I am pretty damn low on electric on my meter at the moment. Credit wise, that is. Um, and I can't do nothing about that till the morning, so... I don't want to go and turn the PC on in the bedroom yet. No hurry to get the footage done, but I will do that probably tomorrow. I'll get that footage across, and then I can start part four. I'm about... I'd say I'm halfway, maybe just over halfway with this. Um, may end up changing the rear derailleur yet, I don't know. Because uh, it's not meant to stick in that position. <laughs> um, I could always give it a whirl, but... <laughs> I have got others. The only reason I want to reuse this one is because it matches the um, Sax Hurt gear shifter I've got. That's why I want to reuse that one. Uh, I've just got to sort out a cotter pin for this. Other than that, the crank goes right nice and smooth. They want tightening a little bit because there's a bit of play in there. Yeah. So I want to be tightened just a smidge, but I can adjust that later. Um, yeah, that cotter pin on this side won't go all the way through, and I can't get my bloody nut back on because the thread's fucked, so. Eh, it's a bit sort of. Uh, 50-50 with car pins on these. When you knock them out, you're either going to completely fuck up the threads, or you're not. So, <laughs> but I guarantee, nine times out of ten, you'll fuck up the threads. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, I sold three items on eBay. I've had a look. I sold the Polaroid camera. Um, the VIC-20 BASIC software, part 2. And one more item that I've actually forgot. <laughs> um, and according to eBay, I can list seven items, so I need to go through and choose what seven items I want to post. Um, Post to eBay, list on eBay, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, what I've got left to do on this um, Sun Solo brake cables, handlebar tape, chain, pedals. So there's one more that I forgot. Um, may have to change the inner tubes. Because they're meant for skinnier tires and what I've got on here, so... Um, I didn't think of that when I put them in. So I'll have to go through my inner tube box. At some point. And, uh... 
certainly looking good, isn't it? It's getting there, slowly. Uh, I've got to go over my closet to look for what the fuck was it I've got to look for. I need to get Cat's Custom Strikes uh, Racer done as well and get that over. Give me a little bit more room out front. And actually, if I scrap one of those bike frames out front, that would give me a bit more room as well. got as far as doing anything regarding the trikes, mostly because I haven't got the materials. I've got tools, I've got plenty of tools over at Mum's, you know, I've got grinders and drills. I'm not a welder though, could do with a welder. That would make life a lot, lot easier with this project. But anyway, we've got to make do with what I've got. Uh, but it is just materials to work with. You know, should be able to, uh, I'll try again. You can't, or it seems like you can't get angle on as much these days, which is what I need. Well, angle on and some, I was going to say smallest box section, but probably, I don't know. So, uh, you know, yay big ish. Because uh, it's got to be strong enough to take the weight. Uh, well, I took the bike off the stand because the cables and the chain and everything I can do with it standing on the floor as it is, so... Um, that was pissing me off having to walk, you know, try and move around the bike stand. It's handy, but... I suppose, actually, I, don't know. I was just thinking I might take it over to Mum's, because uh, it would probably be better, or much more use over there than it would be here. Um, I don't know, I'll think about it. This afternoon, it was after four o'clock, I went and saw my brother. As I said, he's house sitting. Two dogs that actually live outside in the garden. They've got a shed out there that they use as a kennel, and he stinks. I think they clean up the dog's mess very often. And, uh, got two cats as well. One's only got three legs because he had an accident. But, uh, bloody run well with three legs. I'll give him credit there. Jesus, man. Especially when he wants his food. <laughs> yeah, well, so we played GTA on the PS4, so I've now decided I want a PS4. Still want the PS3, I'll keep it, but I want a PS4 now. Because, uh,. I really like GTA 5, like my brother. Even my brother said today, and that's one of his, probably his top favourite game to play. Um, we were playing at Free Roam. There's so many different cars and new cars that have been added. And other things and effects that you just don't get on the PS3. Um, that really enhanced the game, so... Yeah, it means I'll have to go through story mode again and complete it, but... Done it once, I'll do it again. Yes. Oh dear! Mm. Well, tomorrow's payday. I've got to pay my service charge. I'll go to the job centre because I've got an appointment at 10.15. You know, if I hadn't kept that job sent a letter, and I'd lost it or accidentally thrown it in the bin, I would have forgotten what time it was and what day it was on. But every time I write something down, I remember it without having to look. It's just like my alarm. If I set the alarm, I always wake up before the alarm goes off. Guaranteed. 
and uh, I'm pretty certain I'm not the only one. It's just weird, isn't it? You know, you set the alarm to wake up, you wake up before it anyway. Your nose is really cold and wet. Are you sure you're not a dog in disguise? Uh, well, to be honest, if I can get the handlebar tape from Wilco's, if they have any, I could have this bike done by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I think I've got some good enough pedals to put on it. Um, at least, like, perhaps get a new pair, because I'll get a new pair on eBay for nine ninety nine from an eBay user by the name of Bankrupt Bike Parts, I believe. I'm watching a set of pedals anyway, but I believe I've got some just to whack on up for now. So I can actually go for a ride on it, because I'm actually looking forward to taking it for a ride. Uh, I'm going to have a look as well in my tub of inner cubes, maybe tomorrow, see if I've got any a little larger than what I've put in here, because like I said, the, the ones I put in here from the original wheels are meant for um, skinnier tyres. I mean, those tyres are actually meant for a hybrid, but they actually look well. They actually look, um, look well, look good. It's just like my brother um, looked at the time this afternoon, and I didn't hear him, so I said, how much? Not what time is it? I just said how much. I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> it wasn't even, we weren't even talking about money or anything. I still said how much. I'm going gaga. Actually, this back tire is holding enough air. It's just that front one. Maybe the front one's got a slow. I don't know. But this back one is holding enough, I think. That's a brand new tire as well. Look. See the um, seal around the middle. I think the front one. And the front one's just the same. A friend of mine gave me those. And I just had them stored down in the shed, and I thought, I oh, know what bike I can throw those on. Because for some weird reason, get this the inner tube and the rim tape, the um, sort of tape that goes around your wheel rim on the inside to cover the spokes, otherwise you puncture your ch inner tube. Um, they fit these modern wheels fine, but the tyres wouldn't. They were too big. <laughs> so um, I had to sit and think, because I'd actually, for a moment this morning, I forgot I had these tyres. So I had to sort of sit and think, what tyres have I got? Have I got any sort of newer tyres? Because uh, you've got to keep in mind, I've actually managed to fit modern metric wheels into an old bicycle, an old probably 1970s bicycle. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, it weren't actually designed for these wheels, you know, they're designed for the old steel wheels which want to sit in right there. Uh, got the brake blocks in, I've done that. I've used these. I didn't actually video that though, because they're quite boring anyway to put in. Same with the seat. You know, it's just a case of putting the seat on the post and doing up a nut. Mm. You know, it's not really a complicated thing to do. Uh, lights, so that's what I want some lights on this. I'm going to go for dynamo lights. Although, now I'm looking at it, I am sort of uh, <laughs> in two minds whether I want to do that to this or not. So I was going to put a set of unions on this. I've got a funny feeling because that's quite a thin tube, it may not clamp on that, so 
putting lights on this might actually be a bit of a bastard. Yeah, it's going to be a bastard even if I put battery lights on it because of the thin, you know, for light weight they've uh, reduced it obviously. Or to keep it light they reduced the size of the tubing. Sent someone I know a link to a cycling sell it or a cycle selling page on Facebook. She's got a uh, BMX bike she's trying to sell, and she might have some luck on there. But she don't have any luck anywhere else. Yeah, actually, uh, I am looking forward to taking that for a spin. I have got a bracket for the fork there. It'll probably, I'll just screw it across the floor. That's what this is. It's a mount for a light bracket, which is here. I've actually got another one floating around here somewhere. With the bolt. And that just bolts on like that. And then you put a battery lamp on there, or... In fact, I could put battery lights on here. Because I've got... Some ever readies, and in fact, the ever readies are in there. Hmm. Are they over there? No, that's the bag of tape, so they are in this one. Actually, speaking of lights, I want to show you something as well. Hang on. Who is it with racing bikes? They don't like standing. They always have to move. The handlebar always has to move. Right. So I'm just going to go back to the table. Oops. <laughs> I think my chair is sunk. This chair I'm, I'm using at the moment, got it from the recycle centre for five pounds, and it works, but the problem is, after a while, it sinks a little bit. And I've got a feeling it may have just done that. <laughs> right. Oh, it's this one. I'll just turn that off. It was this one that was on. I've actually got a pair of those in here. It's not what I want to show you though, I want to show you these ones. Which I could also clean up and fit to the bicycle. Set of these. Although this one's a bit temperamental because I just turned it on and it hasn't worked. Hello? Here we eat. There we go. Knock, knock, knock. Anyone in? You turn it off and it does it again, so there's a dodgy connection in that one. These came on that yellow bike that I've got out front. The batteries weren't in there, I put the batteries in. So, um, but I've got those. Or I could go real 1970s style, because they're newer than the 1970s. And I could put a pair of these on. I could put that one on. Or I've got the one with the square lens if I want to go a little newer. Um, or I could go 90s and put these ones on. <laughs> I've got so many options, and I've got I don't know what options in the bloody um, box under the bed. I would like dynamos on, but can I be asked to sit there and wire the bloody things up? only to probably change my mind a little bit later. So I've done that before. Um, I mean, these lights, they're designed for the thinner frames. So that would be an ideal one to uh, put on the bike, but I don't think I'd want that one. I'd want the square lens one. No. No. I know exactly what lights I'm going to go for. I'll show you. Because I think they will look the bee's knees on this. God, I need a bigger bedroom. I need a bigger flat. Right. How are we doing? Oh, we're going to be quite a long video, but...
I don't care tonight, I'm happy. Some shit down here. Just a second, I'm just going to clear some shit off the floor. This is the USB mouse with a fat scroll, scroll wheel. And I'll check that in there. And I'm going to check this fucking cable in there as well, out the way. Stay up. Oh, that's for that. I just want to hold my ear. Sorry, Nemo, I've just sort of hijacked your bed for the model. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh, dear me. Not that going to work. Look all the dynamo like brackets and shit. Right. This is the box I want. Come here, you biatch. Right. Oh, it's a bit windy. Here we go, I found one, I found the front one. Basically, it's identical to the ones I've just shown you. Uh, but black. There's the front one. I'm just trying to locate the back one. It's in here somewhere. I could, for shits and giggles, put these on as well. But, uh, no, I won't. I won't do that to the poor bike. I found the cream ones. That's what I'm looking for, but in black. It's in this bloody box somewhere. Oh. No. No. Or a bed be in this box somewhere. Yay! There we go. Well, those are the ones I'm going to put on. Well, that's going to be the last job. And stuff that back in there. And that one. And that one. I could use that bracket that's on this front light as well, because it saved me cleaning the other one. <coughs> oh, lovely. Eggy. And ketchup. And stomach oil. <laughs> right. These were a rechargeable set. They had a battery in them. Uh, you plug the charger straight into the battery. Um, it's basically why they're black. They were just a rechargeable version of those. And like I said, you could open them up, take the battery out, take it upstairs, um, charge it up, and put the battery back in. But because they're identical lights, and they didn't change the light itself apart from the colour, I can use D-cell batteries in this. Mm. Right. Parts you there for now. Shove that over there. Both lights keel over simultaneously. Right. Get this one open. Let's check the contacts. Are we clean? Oh, it's going to need a bit of a clean. How could that have gone green? These are brand spanking new batteries because I just went out and bought them to test the lamps. One that way up. One that way up. Question it. Ooh. One 
there we go. Well, despite the dirty contacts, it's working really, really well. Okay, I'm going to put the bottom back in this one. I'm going to grab that front lamp. Uh, and we'll try that one, shall we? Whee! I don't know if I will use this bracket because I sort of sprayed it with, well, chrome paint. That wasn't very effective. There's a little bit of corrosion got on in here, but not a great deal. It'll clean. Then one with the dimple up, one with the dimple down. Put that on. No life. Why then no life? No life. Uh, okay. Thought there was life for a second there, but that was just a light from up above reflecting. Okay. That look alright. That look alright. I look all right. Look at this. So I have got spares in them, so I can stick in here. Which is what I'll go and get. A spare one of them. So I've got a tub. Right there. Full of spares. Full of all sorts of bike light spares. I didn't think I was ever going to use, but... Uh, Turns out, I need them. Right. Somewhere in one of these, I'm not sure which. Oops, it's right here. Okay. find a lump of steel wool as well. Oops. Hey. Springs are one pain in the ass. Right, that's a nice clean one of those fitted. When the spring stops a sprung in. Oh, isn't that Right. We'll just see if it was the spring. It was indeed. Right, well as it's working, I'm just going to leave it as it is. There we go, we'll do the thing up. And Maybe not, because it is still rather flickery. We'll get in there later on and I'll clean up the contacts. That's fine for now. I'll just say it's cleaning up this. I won't clean it. It's clean. You know, it's, it can be cleaned, but I just wanted to check to see if it was this. Or another, another issue, but it was that. So, as soon as I find my steel wool, I'll clean it up. Let's see if I can find a better one in here. Oh, I've got several. No, that's for a different style of lamp. It's this bit I want. Anyway, I'll uh, shut the video down, I think. So, uh, thanks for watching, and... Uh, 
fucking cats fighting outside. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.